Right here, I've got some rubidium metal. Now rubidium is crazy, bruv. This is the second most reactive metal in the whole world. The only thing more reactive than this is cesium, innit? And I've got a little piece of cesium there, it's gold in that fam. But what we're gonna do, yeah, is open up the rubidium thing, innit? So we're gonna use these pliers and that fam. Crush that, you're done no cuz. Now as soon as rubidium metal is exposed to air, it turns blue and melts into a liquid. And that's because it's reacted with the oxygen in the air to form rubidium superoxide, innit? And this reaction is exothermic, so it releases a lot of heat and causes the metal to melt in that fam. It's a mad thing, cuz. Alright, cool. So what we're gonna do now, yeah, is react with a little piece of water. Do you know what I'm saying? Look, watch this, yeah. Mad thing, fam. So obviously rubidium metal, when it burns, it burns with some red violet flame, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a mad colour still, I don't even know what it is, but it's like a red violet thing. Some new colour, you know what I'm saying? New inventions and that fam. So rubidium plus water creates rubidium hydroxide, which is an alkaline thing, innit? Plus a little piece of hydrogen and that. And we're gonna test it with this phenolphthalein indicator because it turns 